Yay. Okay, we're good. Ba -da -da -ba -da. <laughs> Strawberry and chocolate, yo. All the chocolate for Valentine's Day. Air guitar solo. At first I was like, what do you mean, Kath? And then I remembered the music. <sighs> yeah, well, the, the letters logo is so square. And the Blackwell uh, Deceptions are always, or just the Blackwell logos are so horizontal. That for, doesn't really work uh, next to a square logo, so. I did what I could. It's music, though. Dun, 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 dun. I'm trying to remember where we are. Eh, see, okay. We'll just, we'll go in. Oh, fuck. I'm talking to the psychic. Shit. I don't remember how I'm supposed to handle that. I may need help chat, but we'll see. So, just gonna say that we're switching over. Alright. Blackwell. Not description. God damn it. There we go. Done. Uh, that is a neat, uh, neat emote. That's so cute. 2020 shred. Uh, Shouldn't the psychic already know about the conversation ahead of time? That's a good question. Take care, Hall. Thank you so much for being a lovely Patreon picker and for being here and helping me out. Make me feel better. Take care of yourself. Alright. Sorry. I have to get something out of my eye. Let's see if that worked. For now. Uh, so, this is a Patreon pick from Lacious. Lacious, thank you for being a lovely Patreon supporter, you sweet thing. And for picking the Blackwell series, because I've been thoroughly enjoying them. Uh, but I may need help, because <laughs> I don't really remember what we're doing. I know... I can't, as Joey, be too far away. So if I go in, I can't go in without alerting of my presence like right now I could I could go be Joey uh, maybe there's something I gotta do with wind but I'll be Joey a psychic that sends me a letter to get me to visit is a very bad psychic that's a good point unless they know you only visit if they send it to you anyway he can only go like not very far like he can't go up the stairs Ah, too far away from red. This is as far as I can go. Ah, oh, that's disappointing. All I right. can't use Lisa's phone. Okay, sir. I wouldn't even know who to call. Ghostbusters? Uh, blow Not on sure it? what blowing on that will achieve. I don't... You smartass. Not Door. sure what blowing... Not sure what blowing... I'm gonna smack you. Doesn't All look right. like there's anything in there. Must I define intangible... Nothing on there but junk. Just a drawer. Just, Just your drawer. standard cabinet. <sighs> Looks like an urn for somebody's ashes. <gasps> oh. Not sure what blowing on. Oh, I'm because I'm terrible. Ah, too. F no. Cuckoo is certainly the word for the broad who lives here. Um. Not sure what blow. None of them mean anything to me. These quips of his are as dry as all heck. I mean, it is Joey. No one's no one expects different from Joey. Uh, I, I don't really know what else to do. Creepy bird. What sort of person puts that kind of thing on a shelf? Blow it. Not sure what blowing on. None of them mean. So like, you're useless. 
Not sure what blow. It does nothing for me. Okay, buddy. Maybe. Oh, no, no, no. I can't, can I? Well, I'll try and talk to the psychic one more time, but I'm wondering if while I'm talking to her, if I can be Joey, but I don't think I can. I think I have to, like, initiate everything. Hey, Red, you got a second? What is it, Joey? Uh, that yes. Tenzin dame knows more than she's letting on. Yes. I get that impression. If Jeremy came here, maybe he left some kind of clue behind. What an eyesore this place is. <laughs> I know. And we passed three empty storefronts just walking here. Joints are shutting down. Yeah, at least all they the realize city, Joey's behavior place now. This stays yeah. open. I guess people just like being suckered. Okay. Checks notes. Okay. No, probably nothing for him. Okay. That tends it. That's I not what I meant. All right. Let's. Sure. Okay. Locked. Right. Uh. Yes. Hi, it's me again. Oh, hello. I keep. I. Pff, this is what third time. Please sit. Can I be someone else while you talk to her? Like, be my distraction. Oh my god, I just want to be Joey while you're doing this. Let's Are you sure a Jeremy Sams didn't come to see you? As I said. I'm afraid I can't tell you that. Like any healer, I believe in confidentiality. Do you know anything about the High Line? I know nothing more than anybody else, I'm sure. Could you tell me why Penelope came to see you? I'm afraid not. Our sessions are private. I think his quips are a bit see-through. Are you Did sure you, you, you can't tell me, me like about this? Gavin? I think it could be very important. Be that as it may, I have said all I will say on the matter. Let me be Joey. Thanks for listening, Lisa. I'll get back to you about fixing my problem. Of course. Have a good night. Am I missing something? I don't see how that's useful. I guess I should use it on the door. I don't see how that's useful. Damn it. There's I don't a tag remember. on this key that says Madison and Scott. I oh, it's their place. Their apartment okay, I didn't realize what key that was. I can't use it. No, I There's wanna... a tag on I assume. I wanna thank you. Jeremy and the High Line are obviously connected somehow. Look at the psychic, a hearty boo. I don't think those are connected in any way. I have no idea who. Okay. According to Madison, Penelope was brainwashed by a man named Gavin. Right. I have no idea who. Why can't Jeremy okay. remember what he spoke to Penelope about? It would make our job so much easier. Probably because it led to his death. You know, spooks, sweetheart. They go out of their way to avoid thinking about that. Alright, um... I am not picking through random... Tr Just a trash can. Part of the mayor's anti-litter campaign. But it's right outside our house. And it might it's a mailbox. You know, wait... Okay, wait, Rosa's in the way. Come down here. Okay. There's nothing inside. Oh. Don't know what I can do with it. It's just trash. Just a mailbox. So they want evidence. Give me just a second. I'm gonna add that to my list of things I cannot touch. Such a fucking Full ass. of pseudo-mystic junk. I'm trying to think of anything that would be a clue. I am welcoming chat to give me ideas. None of them mean anything to me. 
Looks like an urn for somebody's ashes. Um, so if chat has any ideas or knows what to do, let me know. Because I do remember last time not knowing what to do either. Or leaving off not knowing what to do. Just got back from laundry. What are we trying to do? Uh, I guess get, uh, uh, what do you call it? Hint that Jeremy was here or something? Like when I talked to Rose Angela. Um, that's what they say. Let me do it again. But like, we're at the psychics. Hey, Red, you got a second? Yeah. That Tenzin dame knows more than she's letting on. I get that impression. If Jeremy came here, maybe he left some kind of clue behind. All like, right, let's get back to it. I already sure. tried to look at the trash can and the mail. Doesn't want to say anything. Can I blow on this? Not sure what blow... Damn it. I don't know, maybe he wrote on the window. There's a way to find out outside if Jeremy was here. How the fuck do I get Jeremy here? Oh, there's a way to find out outside. Oh, oh, oh. To see if Jeremy was here. The problem is she doesn't want Just to look Just a trash can. Part it's a mailbox. Oh, I can't get it open. Just a trash can. I am not bitch. So there's a way outside to find out. There are not many options here. And I used my key. That's but just she silly. was like, yeah. I'm not sure what- Just a trash can. That's just silly. I don't know. I'm not sure what- the, I don't it's know! It's a mailbox. Help. <laughs> I don't understand what they want Got me to do. You're on the right track about the trash can, but she needs a reason to go rifling through it. Yeah, like- About that guy in the nursing home. He's nobody, sweetheart. Absolutely nobody. You didn't act like he was nobody. Look, he's not a spook, so he's not our problem. And when he dies? I said, he's not our problem. So drop it. Jeremy's notebook mentioned a contact that he followed up with. I think he meant Lisa. Did he say anything else? Maybe I should check it again. I don't know what reason she would need to go through it. Legit psychic or not, that neon sign is so tacky. Says the girl with the lava lamp in her bedroom. What's hey. wrong with lava lamps? Lava lamps are cool. If you have to ask the question, you already know the answer. How dare you? That's all for now. Yeah. I don't think so. Ooh. I don't think so. I'm not sure what that was. I don't know. Interact with the goddamn whore trash can. I know, like, I already know that's where, like, even before Lacious mentioned it, I figured there might be something of use in the trash can because it's something I could click on. But it doesn't want me to. Like, I, Joey doesn't want to It's just trash. What am I supposed to do? I can't I hate see you him. both. <laughs> Want something more direct? Yes, please. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't think so. Just a trash can. Oh my god. I can't see inside. Phone? Oh, my phone. Do I call someone? No, let's call both people. I don't really remember. Durkin. Hi, it's Rose Angela Blackwell. Remember me? Yeah, what do you want? I don't know. I was just checking in. Any word on Jeremy's murder? Nothing yet. We're working on it. You got anything for us? 
Did you find a cell phone with Jeremy's body? A phone? No, I would have remembered that. We couldn't find one in his apartment either. Why do you ask? No reason. Is his phone in the goddamn ho- Thank you, Lacious. Jeremy spoke to a Penelope Haynes before he died. From the old folks home? Yeah, we know. We found it through his phone. I thought it would be in that one girl's place this whole time. Barely knows where she is. I was just checking. Oops. I found out that Jeremy went to visit a psychic named Lisa Tenzin. Please sing to the trash can. Is it relevant? I don't know. Well, we'll keep her on file. Thanks for the info. Well, at least I talked to him. I don't have anything else for you. I would never have even thought that the phone was in there. Hi, you've reached Jeremy Sams. Please I would leave never a message. even have thought of that. God, that's disgusting. Is Jeremy's phone really under all that? Only one way to find out. You gonna help or what? Being dead means I don't have to pick through garbage. It's one of the perks. Right. Found it. Jeremy better appreciate this. Dumpster diver is the achievement I got. Uh, sometimes my brain just doesn't work how point and click wants me to think. I don't know why I just never... I just, for some reason, since he said, or since, like, at some point in the game, it talks about how they... That he probably left his phone in that woman's place. I just assumed it was always going to be there. I never thought it could be anywhere else. My brain just didn't think about it. If I had known his phone was missing in general and didn't think it would be at that woman's house, different story. Like, if I never knew it was at that woman's house, probably would have thought, okay, maybe his phone's somewhere. But, like, I just always assumed it was going to be there. My brain doesn't work like that, apparently. All right. What are you calling a trash can? All right, well... I guess we bring this back to Jeremy? Hey bitch, we got your phone. Come on in. Oh, hi Rosa. Make yourself at home. I have your phone, sir. I'm not going to throw away Jeremy's- No. <laughs> Jeremy, I've got something to show you. But before I do, could I see your phone? What, this? Yes, now take a look here. I don't get it. You've got the same phone as me? No, Jeremy. It's your phone. No, it's not. I've got mine right here. I called you, remember? I don't know how you did that, but that's not your phone. This is. You lost it outside of Lisa's. It was in the trash can. That's impossible. I called it. It rang. It's yours. I... No. No, this, this is a trick. Jeremy. No! Just when I'm getting close, you're trying to... Confuse me. You're trying to make me forget. Forget my appointment. Appointment? Yes, at the High Line. I'm meeting with someone who will explain everything. I'm going. Don't try and stop me. You already went and you died. Well, that went well. Well, let's... Let's try and stop him. Hi. You okay there, buddy? Jeremy? I was here. This is me. Oh. I was standing right there. Oh. Then I heard a pop. And oh, so then, he didn't fall. He then died. I was calling you with a phone that couldn't exist. Somehow, I just knew you were the one who could help me. Like I said, it's what we do. Could you tell us who you were meeting here? I was meeting a man named Gavin. Lisa arranged it. I've heard stories. People change around him. They destroy their lives, sometimes even die. Die like, like I died. Jeremy, I'm so sorry. No, no, it's hey, okay. well, Prince, I don't know why, but I feel good. Relieved, even. You'll find him, won't you? You can take over? We'll find him, Jeremy. This won't happen to anybody else. Thank you. I'm ready. Aww. 
Jeremy, it's time. Poor Jeremy. That's what we do. Sometimes a very simple line makes me emotional. Aww. This is incredible. All this time, I never imagined. This is your life now. This is my life now. Not quite the village eye, is it? Beats writing book reviews. Um, so I guess I should just... Yeah, the light. Just go through it? Just go through it. Well, he's gone. You okay? Sure. Forging an entire bottle of wine won't oh. fix. Well, you know what they say. Bacchus knows best. That was really sad. Four inches of snow on top of two inches of ice is a bitch. Please be safe, old friends. Aw, have a good night, Demonas. Thank you for hanging out with us. Get all your rest and sleep. Take care of yourself. Oh, jams. That's just morbid. What was it? Jeremy, I'm so sorry. It's pretty quiet out there tonight. Good. I don't want someone looking up here and seeing me talk to myself. So I guess we leave now. Thanks, Demonas. Have a good night. Oh, I can't go to Jeremy's anymore. Well, I hope there's nothing I needed there. We still have zero information about Gavin. But maybe this is enough to talk to Lisa. Locked. Oops. Maybe see if there's more options. Hi. Oh, to be like, please tell me sit. how to reach Gavin. Thanks. Jeremy's phone. Lisa, I found Jeremy's phone. It was outside, in the trash. It's a public street. So he was here. He might have been outside. I cannot say. I know you spoke to Jeremy, Lisa. Why are you lying to me? Lying? What makes you think that? You're psychic. Jeremy told you? Jeremy told me. Didn't you tell me he was dead? Whatever he told you, it's not true. I never spoke to anyone named Jeremy. I think this interview is at an end. It's very clear that I will be unable to help you. Your mind is closed off. You aren't seeking help. You only want to destroy. What? No, I, I only want to... Your very presence is damaging the aura of peace I spent years trying to create. I insist that you leave. And I also insist you give up this line of inquiry. Give up? That's not an option. Not for me. <laughs> Nevertheless. <laughs> my friend came to see you, and then he was killed. Pride you penguin. can either help me, or you There's can get in my way. Music happening. But one way or another, I'm gonna find out what happened. I'll be in touch. Smooth exit. Whatever. Let's just get out of here. Wow. That got intense. Macquarie, thank you so much for eight months of support. I appreciate you. Not bad for a night's work. Thank I you, guess thank you, thank you. we still don't know how Hi, or why McCoy. Jeremy was killed. That's not really our problem, is it? Maybe. It's just kind of personal this time. Yeah, I get it. Look, you're you blocking her sleep. chakra. How could you get? Yeah, you're right. It's been a long night. Sorry Joey. for joining in late. You're fine. Yeah. The old man at the nursing home. Who is he? Get some sleep, Red. I just want to know. Breaking news. Was revealed to be Jeremy Sams, a reporter at the City Post newspaper. No suspect is in custody yet. The police issued a statement to say that their investigations are continuing and advise everyone to avoid the High Line after dark. Is that it? Am I done jamming? Lava lamp. You're not supposed to shake it. That ruins it. No, just look at it. I used to stare into that thing for hours. Still do sometimes. I love lava lamps. Hey, Joey? What's going on? All okay. right, let's get out of here. After you, doll. So what do you think? I think that Lisa Tenzin was throwing us a line. 
She's had some time to stew. Let's shake her and see what falls out. <laughs> That's an image That's I didn't need. That's all for now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, notes. I have nothing new. Okay. Okay. Uh. I guess let's leave. Uh, bad DDC, nobody said it. Except McCory did say it. Sorry for joining late. Fender doesn't read chat! Alright, let's annoy her. She's not gonna answer the door. Hi, Lisa? Hello? Well, that was rude. Hey, Joey, go in. It is different. How is it different? <gasps> Hi. Is that Danny? Is that you? How the hell did Lisa get this? How the hell did Lisa get this? Oh. How the hell did Lisa get this? The first two are right click, so I decided to left click, and apparently he says the same thing. She's staring at that photograph. Couldn't talk to her even if I wanted to. I'll blow on her. I'm not gonna waste my breath on her. Fair. Okay, so maybe we can tell Rosa that she's looking at a photograph. How the hell did Lisa get this? How the hell did Lisa get this error? She knows exactly. him. That phony knows him. Knows who? Danny Marconi, that's who. Who is Danny Marconi? <sighs> Remember that old guy in the nursing home? She's oh. mooning over a picture of him. I don't like where this is going. Not one bit. Oh... I, I'm realizing we're not we didn't start off the beginning of the joke the same. Okay. But the command is still for people who say that they're late. Just yes, I get it now. I don't read things the same. I'll pretend uh for McCory. <laughs> I don't I don't think through things. Um What do you want me to do? Oh, I thought it was Oh, Sorry, I'm not seeing clients tonight. Danny Macaroni. Do you know a Danny Marconi? Marconi. I said Macaroni. Let me in and I'll tell you. No, I don't think so. Goodbye. That actually seemed like a good... Sorry, I'm not seeing clients tonight. Danny Macarena. Wow, cat. <laughs> Why not? It's personal. Please come back tomorrow. Hello? Sorry, I'm not... Don't go anywhere, Lisa. I need to talk to you. Hello? Damn it. Sorry. Wait. Wait! Hello? Damn it. That clearly doesn't work. Look, you've had some time to think about it. Maybe we can talk about Jeremy now. Danny Alfredo. Guess that's a no. Sorry, it's me again. Hello. <laughs> okay, I've done every option. About Danny Marconi. What about him? Let me in, and I'll tell you. Maybe I need to know more. What can you tell me? Joey, I'd like to talk to you. What is it this time? Legit psychic or not, that neon says, what's oh wrong God. with if you So what do you think? I think that Lisa Tenzin was throwing us a line. She's had some time to stew. Let's shake her and see what falls out. 
So what's your take on Jeremy? My take? He seems like a nice enough kid. Keeps his cards close to his chest, though. What do you mean? You know spooks, sweetheart. They make no sense half the time. It's like their minds have snapped. They try so hard to deny their own death that they can't think straight. But your Jeremy? He's a sharp one. Completely lucid. You're right. It was easy to forget that he was dead. It was like we were having a real conversation. Yeah, that's what worries me. Goes against the rules, such as they are. The High Line is a park that just opened a few months ago. I've always meant to go over there. New parks going up, old buildings going down. This city changes so fast it's hard to keep track. Do you think Gavin has killed anyone else? Besides Jeremy? We already know he brainwashes Who's old ladies. For Lauren and Unbound Who knows what is else Danny a guy Marco like that is capable of? Deco, Dar Danny Marconi wasn't even an intentional reference, just something the writer noticed later. That's amazing. Uh, mocha and chocolate Kit Kat. That sounds delicious. That's all. Yeah. So maybe I need to send him in there again. Danny Fettuccini. How the hell did Lee? Okay, can you have something else to say about it? How the hell did Lisa? I can't say anything about him. How the hell did Lisa get this? You're annoying me. She's staring at that photograph. None of them mean. Wait, can I blow on the photograph? Not sure what I'll gain by blowing that all over the room. Not sure what... Ah. How the hell did she get this? It's like, none of that helps me, Joey. Uh, hi, Punchy. This looks cool. It's a great point and click. I'm just bad at point and clicks. Not sure what block... It does nothing... About Danny. What? Let me in. Oh my God. No. Locked. I need help again. Does anyone have an idea? <laughs> I don't understand. Guess we found the new tragedy. It was a tragedy. That's all it was. Uh, cat's new favorite toy is a makeup brush. That does not surprise me. Let it live its best life. Okay, have you tried clicking on the picture? Bitch. If you're stuck, see if there's somewhere else to go. Okay. Because, like, I figured they're going to talk about... They kept talking about the psychic, so I assumed I had to go there. I already went to Highline. I guess I can go to Highline again. Or wait, can I talk to... Maybe he knows something about Danny. Hi, it's me again. Uh-huh. Found Jeremy's phone. I found Jeremy's phone outside of a psychic's office. You did, huh? Where is it? I've got it with me. Hello? You found potential evidence and removed it from the scene? Yes. <sighs> Forget it. It's just junk now. I was just checking in. Any word on Jeremy's murder? Nothing yet. We're working on it. You got anything for us? I don't have an- mm -hmm. Alright. I don't really know, but... See who's around. Everyone's gone. They don't look like the kind that open. Wow, the residents here sure get the star treatment. Wow, the residents- So nothing here. She 
She's not in her bed. Where the fuck are they? Locked. All right. There's a reason why I keep... Don't know why they bother with alarm clocks here. What do they need to get up for? Nothing but junk on these shelves. All right, bye. Okay. I guess I'll go back to the high rise. I guess I can talk to her. Hi again. Hello. Do you have a patient here named Danny Marconi? Yes, we do. Are you a relative? No, I'm just hoping to ask him some questions. Oh, I'm sorry to be the one to tell you this, but he passed away earlier this afternoon. I see. It was peaceful. He just went quietly in his sleep. Thanks for letting me know. Yeah, good for him. What do we come here for anyway? Come on, let's blow. Um, sorry to bother you. So, do you want to talk about it? It's ancient history. There's nothing to say. Let's just get a move on. Maybe now? I mean, unless I have to Google it. But... Well, let's look at this picture one more time. I'm assuming that we have to talk to her and now say, like, he died. Because now we have new information. But... I want to look at this picture one more time. I can't pick that. How the hell did Lisa get this? All right, bye. Just making sure. Thank you, Lacious, for the tip. Thank you, thank you. All right. Okay. How the hell did... About Dan. He died. I today. know he died this afternoon. And? And I wanted to talk to you about him. Yesterday, you threatened me. Today, you want to talk about my grandfather. Wait, grandfather? He was your grandfather? Yes. If you didn't know that, why are you here asking about him? Grandfather? I can't believe it. Well, um. really want to say I'm psychic. I'm psychic. You know about my grandfather because you're psychic. Yes. Did you talk to his ghost or something? Ironically, no, I didn't. Uh-huh. I ask you again. How do you know my grandfather? Joey. A little help here. <sighs> Just tell her this. He had a shop on Grand Street. He used to be a tailor. He had slick back hair and a pencil mustache. He used to be a tailor. That, there are a million ways you could have known that. Um. Uh, fine. Tell her everyone called him Danny Boy and he hated it. What? Just say it. Everyone called him Danny Boy and he hated it. Excuse me? He drank whiskey, straight, with no ice. He put salt on everything. He played the clarinet like he was born with it in his hand. He would have sold his soul to play at the supper club. And he was madly, madly in love with a singer named Linda. Madly in love with a singer named Linda. Get in. Linda was my grandmother. She died before I was born. Thank heaven for small favors. Seeing you would have broken her heart. You're for real, aren't you? You're one of them? 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 No, I'm not falling for that. I've been nothing but loyal over the years. You have no reason to test me like this. Look at her, shaking like a leaf. Just because there was that bit of trouble with the reporter. You mean his murder. I am not responsible for that. Why now? If what I suspect is true, you people have looked the other way for years. Why the change of heart? Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Gavin has killed someone. I can't confirm that one way or the other, and neither can you. Look, I'm just a friend of Jeremy's. I want to know what happened, that's all. 
Whoever Gavin is, he needs to be stopped. I want to believe you. Then what's the problem? Look, what if I Pender, tell you my suspicions and I'm wrong? You think I can just walk away? So what do you suggest? I'll give you the names of the last two clients I referred to Gavin. That's harmless enough. You look into them. You find anything. Maybe we can talk. Okay. Fine. Give them to me. Here. Thanks. I will get to the bottom of this. I hope so. But until you do, leave me out of it. Now get out. I've done all I can. And I can say I'm sorry for your loss. Is this what you lived for, Danny? Was it worth it? You were a good man, Danny. You deserved a better legacy than this. Well, maybe we both did. Wow, you judging the hell so out of his like family. So it looks like we've got to track down these two names. Huh? Oh, sure. Who are they? We've got a Tiffany Walters. She lives on Thompson Street, just south of Washington Square. And the other? Jamie Graham. She's a student up at Columbia. Didn't you go to school there? Yeah, it's been a while. Go to Tiffany. Charming. What's with the music? Tiffany's name is written on her buzzer. She's in apartment two, right on the ground floor. It's a bunch of mailboxes. Tiffany's mailbox is on the bottom row. Locked. Damn. There's nothing on there I need. Flyers for guitar lessons, computer repair, and furniture. Although this one looks interesting. Nothing on there you need. Attention, fellow residents. It's come to my attention that many of you have set up insecure Wi-Fi networks for your apartment. That's fine, assuming you want every NYU student on the block to leech off you and slow your system to a crawl. If you are like the rest of us, you might want to learn how to add a password to your system. And here's one piece of advice for free. Your dog's name is not a secure password, a concerned resident. Okay. Is it locked? Locked. Yeah. All right, let's buzz. Bzz, 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 bzz. No response. We might need to come back here. It's the way inside. No response. All right, let's do the other place first then. Jamie. Sneaking through the Columbia campus at night isn't how I envisioned coming back here. Keypad locks? Those are new. There's Jamie a Graham. keypad on this door. I don't fucking know. All right, Joey, what, can you go in there and see? I can't touch it. Hello? Looks like the coast is clear. Looks like a schedule of some kind. Every item is marked by a letter and number code. I like her little I idol can't make heads or tails she stretches. Looks like a poster for a band called Epileptic Fish? Seriously, Epileptic Fish. I know what this is. It's a cassette player. I think it replaced the 8-track not too long ago. Looks like a bunch of junk to me. Okay. Just a set of drawers. I have no idea what this thing is. I have no idea what... Can't do anything with that. Looks like a schedule of some kind. Every item is marked by a letter and number code. I can't make heads or tails of it. Can I know what that code Looks is? Looks like a bunch of junk to me. Well, we've learned one thing by coming here. Jamie's a slob. What am I supposed to do? Sing to it? Yes. Does it ghost, remember? How am I supposed to if you Looks want like to Looks like a about schedule it? of some kind. Every item is marked by a letter and number code. I can't make heads or tails of it. That's the number keypad. Text Looks books. like textbooks. Does it want a hug? <laughs> There's a keypad. I tried to click it separately and it won't let me. Come here for a minute. Uh-huh. What's up? So, you went to school here, huh? Yeah. Scholarship, baby. For all the good it's done me, no school could have prepared me for what I'm doing now. 
You figure out that code yet? Absolute mood. I'm sure there's a clue around here somewhere. All right, let's get back to it. Sure. Who would use their dog's name as a password? Change this password. Um, I didn't use Joey in the other one, so let's do that then. Wait, did he say something and I just missed it? Let's do this first anyway. Uh, Joey. Look like there's a piece of paper Stay stuck on the inside. The door, Red, I tried clicking in. it, it won't let me. After you, Joey. Hello? Tiffany Walters is dead. What? Who are you? How'd you get in? Oh, I... New landlord. No. I'm yeah. your new landlord. Just checking to make sure everyone's happy. Really? Oh, how nice. It makes my day when people care. Huh? I can see right through you, mister. You're not the only one. Oh, <laughs> shut up! You think you're so clever? You think you're so charming? Can't blame a guy for trying. Well, take it somewhere else. I've had enough. That's why the best enough password ever what? is redacted. I'm turning my back now. I want to be left alone. That's Thompson Street out there. That's not a man. That's Thompson. Late 20s. Looks a bit beaten by life. Hello again. She couldn't what? even appreciate the pun. So, you're Tiffany Walters, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, that's me. Whatever. Well, we've confirmed that at least. Anger. So what's your beef, anyway? I never had a broad so angry with me. Not before dinner, anyway. Just leave me alone. Ooh. So, um, I hate to be the one to tell you this, but you're dead. What? You're a ghost. You're haunting your own apartment. I'm what? That's rich. Really rich. I thought I'd heard them all, but that one... Just leave me alone. Are you familiar with Jeremy Sams, a reporter for the City Post? What? No. Have you ever been up to the High Line? What? No. Okay. Do you know anyone named Gavin? Gavin? Yeah. You know him? I don't know. You don't know? No. Forget it. So, does the name Jamie Graham ring a bell? No. Just leave me alone. So, tell me about yourself, Tiffany. Nice try, but I don't think so. Well, uh, see you around. Yeah, yeah, see you. Looks like a pretty threatening letter from someone called STP. Are you guys hearing the crackling, or is that my headphones? Uh, from STP to Tiffany Walters, your final payment. Miss Walters, as per our agreement, your final balance owed has been direct deposited into the account we have on file. We would also like to remind you not to harass our client further. This includes phone calls, emails, text messages, and personal visits. We have received numerous complaints, and if these actions continue, we will be forced to take the appropriate police action. We hope it does not come to this. We appreciate your compliance in this matter. I'm not noticing the crackling. I don't hear any crackle. Okay, it's my headphones then. Just wanted to make sure. Thank you guys, though. Entire shoelaces. There's a message written on this photo. Rachel and Tiff. We... rocked? I don't get it. Uh, buddy. It looks like Tiffany. I guess she worked in an office before she died? I can only assume her name is Rachel. Late 20s, looks a bit be okay. Just between you and me. Just between. Hello again. What? Could you tell me what STP stands for? Stop with the personal it's questions. From a specific voice it's actor. It's my life. I made I my know. choices. I'll deal with them. Just leave me alone. It's not constant. It's every once in a while, so it might be my head. That's a cute picture there of you. Who's your friend? Stop with the personal questions. It's my life. I made my choices. I'll deal with them. Just leave me alone. 
could you tell me what- Stop with the- If you must just leave- Okay. So we found out a lot of information. Well, see. Yeah. yeah. That we can probably look up. So how did it go? She's a spook, all right. Pretty recent one, too. Just like Jeremy. Yeah. Okay. Wait now. F. All right. Did they mention something about codes here? Come here for a minute. Uh-huh. What's up? You figure out that code yet? I'm sure there's a clue around here somewhere. All right, let's- Sure. Not from out here, I- Not from out- Yeah, there's like- Oh, there is a it note! It says, remember Waterloo. You fucker. I don't know what that means. Ghost from- Looks like textbooks. Looks like a schedule of some kind. I can't make heads- Chat, is Remember Waterloo supposed to help me know the number? Because I don't know what that means. Yeah, I, I thought that was a window. I was trying to click on this. She was really a student May I give here? you a mechanic reminder? Yes, I have yes, trouble picturing her it. as a college kid. Is that what I meant? I can blow on stuff. Bed of Waterloo was 1915? Okay. You can do searches on your phone. Oh. Uh, I'm probably supposed to do that, so I'll do that either way. Eighteen fifteen. Way to go, Gilroy. Okay. There's a keypad. I'm in. I'm in. All right. Joey, get in here. What? This looks like a class schedule. I recognize a bunch of the course codes from when I studied here. You remember that after all this time? It wasn't that long ago. If you say so. Let's see. She's mostly taking English and history yeah, classes. Yeah, the code to get in. Uh-huh. Now this is interesting. She's taking the same writing class that I did. That's interesting. Well, it is to me. She's even got the same professor. Elaine Appleton. Okay. Looks like a poster for a band called Epileptic Fish. I've heard of those guys. I'm not sure they play together anymore. This is really old. It's got a cassette player and everything. Does anyone listen to cassette tapes anymore? It must be something she had as a child. No point. It doesn't even have a tape inside. It must have sentimental value of some kind. It's full of makeup, nail polish, eyeliner, hairspray. I guess that's college for you. Okay. We don't need any of that. Oh, it's a it's laptop. It's a small laptop. Waterloo. Damn it. I don't know enough about her yet, I don't think. Jamie. Okay. Random knickknacks and boxes of cosmetics. Nothing important. A set of drawers. There's nothing useful in there. We don't need any of that. Okay. These books are pretty generic. They wouldn't tell me anything. So at least have that. Pretty typical for a college kid, I guess. I'm a medium. Not a maid. It's not even that messy. All right. Um. So we don't have a password. I don't need Jamie. It's Jamie's class schedule. There's nothing special about it, except that she took the same writing class I did. Epileptic fish. Is that it? Is it one word? Looks like a poster for a band called. I've heard. Epileptic fit. Oops. Damn it. Tried with him without space. Well, we have more.
Also, I want to see. I don't think those are connected. Okay. No connection. No. I'm Elaine Appleton was Jamie's English professor. Mine too, oddly enough. Okay. I don't think... Rachel and Tiffany were in the same photograph together, so obviously they know each other. Tiffany had a letter from someone named STP. Okay. All right, we have a new phone number. Hello? Hi, is this Elaine Appleton? That's me. Who's this? Rosangela Blackwell. Oh God, I was in your class around 10 years ago. Rosangela, yes, yes, of course I remember you. It's been a long time. I saw you so had a book published, is that right? Something like that. Do you have a few minutes? Sure, sure. What can I help you with? I wanted to ask about a student of yours, Jamie Graham. Oh, her, yes. So tragic what happened. Tragic? You what mean happened? you don't know? She died just last week. I... no. No, I didn't. Oh, well, I'm sorry to be the one to tell you. Did you know her well? No, not really. But could I ask you some questions about her? I'm not sure what I can tell you that I already didn't tell the police, but go ahead. Uh... Well, I'm surprised that. you remember me after all this time. Well, it was my first year as a professor, and you did this is like stand out. Meant to be I did? Yes. The coffee? The cup you spilled all over my desk? Oh, God. I completely forgot about that. She didn't. I didn't. I yep. had to let those papers dry out all night. What can you tell me about Jamie? I hate to speak ill of her, but she was a disappointment. How so? At first, she was very keen about her work. She was a brilliant Damn. writer. But that brilliance soon faded. By midterm, she'd show up for class late and hung over, and when she showed up at all. And as for what she was wearing, well, let's just say it wasn't appropriate. Rude. What made her brilliant? She had a way of infecting you with her passion. When she loved something, she could make you love it too. She had a keen interest in Middle Eastern history, so it was no surprise that most of her work had Middle Eastern themes to them. But as I said, that faded with time. She stopped having a passion for much of anything, I think. Such a waste. Or depression? You said she faded. What do you think happened to her? I don't know. I wish I did. At the time, I figured it was the typical story. Young, sheltered girl comes to the city and gets overwhelmed with the freedom of it all. Most adjust fine. Some, well, don't. I could tell she was troubled, but I learned long ago that it isn't my place to reach out. I remember you being a bit closed off, once upon a time. Yes, well, we all change. What was wrong with her clothes? I'm no prude, but what she was wearing should stay in Munray's where it belongs. Munray's? It's a nightclub. It's a popular hangout for the students here. Okay. And Jamie went there? She wore their t-shirts, so I'd assume yes. Although it was more like a half a shirt. So? How did Jamie die? I'm not sure. No foul play, if that's what you're asking. It so was he a speaks ill of the dead, like but she's that. a failure. Really? That's what the police said anyway. Disappointment. Oh, Cosmorian. Hello, by the way. Coffee spill memories are so awkward. Super harsh to say, right? Why were the police involved? If she died by natural causes, why involve them? I wondered the same thing myself. The detective, a man named Durkin, I believe, wasn't very forthcoming. Okay. Do you know a guy named Jeremy Sams? Hmm. No, I don't know anyone with that name. Do you ever go up to the High Line? It's gorgeous, isn't it? My husband and I went for a walk there last summer. But you haven't been back since. No, we haven't. Why? Oh, no reason. Have you ever heard Smooth. of a man named Gavin? Gavin? Can't say I know any Gavins. Is there anything else you could tell me about Jamie? If there's anything specific you'd like to know, just ask. Does the name Tiffany Walters mean anything to you? Hmm, no, I don't know anyone with that name. Have you ever heard of STP? Just asking everything. I'm afraid not. Do you know anyone named Rachel? I'm afraid not. 
That's who I'm talking to right now. So what is Munray's like? I wouldn't know. My clubbing days are long gone. I just embarrass myself. Only if you think you will. I should get going. Are you still in the city? We should have coffee sometime. Oh, uh, sure. I'm a bit wrapped up in the story, but maybe after? Sure, sure. You take care. Okay. I mean, the only other thing I can think... Well, I guess we can visit Munray's if... Oh, wait, maybe... Shit. We gotta probably search for the address. Did I spell it? Yeah. Location. Sweet. DJ Tomo! I had a friend that went by Tomo. A $20 cover for this dump? You got robbed. What? I said you got robbed. I look like a slob? No. Well, yes. <laughs> Just forget it. Rude. Cat jams. <laughs> Did the beat go drop? Energy axolotl. <laughs> Don, thank you for the axolotl dance redemption. This beat is hot. Oh my god. I guess now we know the answer is yes, the beat is going to drop. <laughs> I actually really like this song. <laughs> uh... Not gonna lie. Fuck you too, Joey. I know. He's being an asshole. Saying I look like a slob. How dare you? <laughs> oh my god. This is amazing. I actually really like it! Oh my god, anyway. I guess we should talk to Pete. I guess we should keep going. Make small talk. Hi. So. They're ignoring me. Yeah, fair. Drunk guy. Hi. Hi? He's just looking at me funny. I guess he doesn't want to talk to me. I'm gonna have to find the song after stream. Hi. Um. I can't just chat with some stranger. Not here, anyway. Hi. Hi, got a sec? Hello? She's serving a bunch of customers on the other side. I uh, her attention. I was like, uh, she should respond to, you, to the dance floor. Wait, hold on, let's look at this. Oh no! Search for a song. I don't fucking know. There's I like this song. There's a sign that says the VIP area is closed. I could try and climb over, but I'd get caught instantly. Joey, you should go. Ah, oh, look, another dead person. Jamie? You're Jamie Graham, aren't you? Do I know you? No. Not yet, but uh, I hope to change that. You think so, huh? Anyway, I'm Joey. Uh-huh. Come here often. 
Uh, what brings you here? So, what brings you here? It's a place to go, right? It's a place, I'll give it that. Ask Care dance? to dance? Whatever. No, this music sucks. Okay. Rude. I disagree. Interesting music, huh? It's all right. You just said it sucks. Are you alone here tonight? That's a crime. Whatever. Don't be a creep. I'm here with friends. Friends, huh? I'll be here any minute. Well, in the meantime, how about we get to know each other? How about not? I would be, yeah. I would be really creeped out. You come here often? Don't think I've seen you before. Maybe you have, but I know I've never seen you. Hey? I wouldn't forget a Rat Pack reject like you. What's up with that, anyway? Reject? I'll have you know this fabric is top of the line. Look at me, I'm impressed. So, how about a drink? No thanks. Come on, just one drink and a conversation. No. If you still don't like me, you can dump it on me. Deal? Don't tempt me. Care to dance? That's what I meant to do. Are you even old enough to be in here? Sure I am. I've got the best ID money can buy. That's not legal. This guy's smooth AF, no. Why are you being like this? You barely know me. Please. That's the point. Already got a dog back home. Hey, now that's a bit uncalled for. His name is Benji. You'd like Benji. Him. Got a lot in common. All right. All right. I've got a scram, but uh, don't you go anywhere. I make no promises. Uh, sign. What am I supposed to? It says this room is off limits. But I think that only applies to living people. It's like a DDR song. Excuse me, could I ask? Hello? Ow, hey, watch the arm. Um, yeah. That's fine. We have a name for a dog. I guess we can change the music, but I don't... Oh, wait. Oh, no, no, no. Maybe uh, her her computer might tell us what song from the band she might like. Because I don't know. Is Ask for a Song, not a band. Anyway. Sorry, I was enjoying that music too much. It's a problem. But maybe we can get her to dance for epileptic fish. Fish. Come for a drink, get vaccinated. Wait, what? Yeah, no, don't talk to me. Like, I would completely turn Joey away and be super creeped out. And this is why I don't hang out alone. Mm -mm. Why are you like this? <laughs> don't fake idea IDs. Exactly. Don't do illegal things. Thanks. The amount of red lights is scary. That voice, act voice actress played someone in Read Only Memories. I don't know what that is. All right. Oh, thank God. They're not making me do it again. I remember, but... Benji. <laughs> All right. These are the most secure passwords I've ever encountered. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, Don Graham. Hey, kid. You doing okay? Just thought I'd check in. You doing all right out there? Things the same back west? Or things are the same back west. Drop your mother a line and let her know how you're doing. Everyone here back in Illinois misses you. Hey. F. Jamie, did you hear about, or did you hear that Ali and John got married? Or Allie. Not Ali, probably. It's probably Allie. Uh, they eloped last week. They made her mom furious. They're living in Mattoon now. Uh, you'd think that they would want to move further away from here, but whatevs. Come visit soon. Jamie, I think you've, or I've taken you as far as I can, dear. This dark energy around you just won't lift, and... It might be beyond my abilities. Come by my office as soon as you can. I'm going to send you to someone who can do the job better than I can. Lisa. Seb Frederick. Uh, J hey, Jamie. Just wanted to know that... I just wanted you to know that I had a great time last night. The past few weeks have been great even. Want to get together again tomorrow? Seb. Gavin. Thank you for getting in touch. 
Elisa told me about your problem, and I do believe I can help. It will require some extreme changes in your life, but I think you can handle it. It's me Let's meet tomorrow, and remember things are never as bad as they seem. Gavin. Don Graham. The dad again. Is th what I'm hearing true? Are you really failing three subjects? Jamie, you were doing so well. What's gotten into you? Call me anytime, dad. Dad! <laughs> Said Frederick. You know what? Forget it. You just... You want to get high and piss your life away in that Munray's dump? Then you go right ahead. I don't care. I'm done. What the hell happened to you, Seb? Oh. Sarah. Elamela? Uh, Elmale? Elmale. Uh, Jamie, is what I hear... What they say... Oh my god. Is what they're saying true? Please answer and say it's not true, Sarah. Jeremy? Uh... Hi, my name is Jeremy Sams, and I'm a reporter with the City Post. I was hoping to chat with you about your experiences with Gavin. We can do it over the phone, or I can buy you a coffee. Ladies' choice. Uh, Jeremy Sams, City Post. Seb. So you finally did it. You spiraled out of control and ended up where I thought you would. Jesus, why am I writing you? I know you're dead. This is stupid. I go to that nightclub, uh, hoping to see you there. Why? I don't know. Why'd you do this, Jamie? Everything was so good, Seb. It's really sad, actually. Okay. So we... Wait, let me look at that first. No point. It does... It... I'm not here to steal. Besides, looks like a poster for a band called Epileptic Fish. I guess I've I can heard look of it those up. guys. Okay, wait. Let me Google them. I have to think so hard about how to spell it. City Underground, Epileptic Fish, Reunion Rumor Squashed. Lead singer Al Alistair Howie uh, confirmed today that the former indie electronica group was not, contrary to outline so online sources, getting back together. They still play our stuff in the underground clubs, and that's great, but we've all gone our separate waves, ways. So I have no way of getting a song, but I can maybe type in the band. Uh, let's see. It's different, different song this time. This is a little weirder. One song found. I got Music Lover as an achievement. And it's got her. <laughs> Jamie? Oh, what? Care to dance? Why not? I love this song. Yo! Cat jams. So, tell me about yourself. You got a question? Ask it. Oh. Spare time. So, what do you do when you're not lighting up the dance floor? Nothing much. How about you? <laughs> Help lost spirits move into the next she floor. She said spare time. Oh. Oh! I come to places like this. Really? You don't seem the type. Maybe there's more to me than meets the eye. Somehow I doubt that. So, tell You got a question? Uh, hometown. Where are you from? Uh, nowhere special. Where are you from? I don't know where he's from. It's in the Midwest. Really? Whereabouts? Let's say it because we know where she's from. Illinois. No way. So am I. Where in Illinois? Oh, she's from Mattoon, isn't she? I don't know. Is that how you spelled Mattoon? I don't even know where that is. All right. Mattoon. No way. I grew up 20 minutes from there. Really? Really? Mattoon. It's even a smaller town than mine. Yeah, well, that's why I left. I know the feeling. Although... I miss it in a way. We 
We should talk about the old place sometime. I'd like that very much. So, tell me. You got a question? So what are you studying? Nothing important. How about you? What did you study back in the Dark Ages? Dark Ages? I never went to a university. Oh, sorry. Oh. Well, that got awkward. So, what's the deal with this place anyway? What do you mean? It's loud. It's got zero class. Why come here? To be free, of course. To be really alive, you need to let yourself go. I used to be so scared of places like this. But they're so liberating, don't you think? I could die tomorrow. Life's too short. So, you think you're liberated? Yes. I, I feel so free now. I always felt something was missing. I needed to get out of my stuffy room and live. And you do that by coming here? I have fun. I've never had so much fun before. That's awkward. And I'm happy, damn it. So much happier. You yeah. said you could die tomorrow. Do you ever think about that? Dark. Jeez, what's with the doom and gloom? Yeah. <laughs> you brought it up, not me. I can't think about that. If and when I go, I want to say I enjoyed my life. And have you? What kind of question is that? Of course I have. You were scared of this place? Places like it. I didn't think it was me. I never would have thought of going to a place like this a year ago. But now, I can't think of anything else. Tell me about Professor Appleton. Um, no. I don't come here to talk about school. Okay. Do you know any Rachels? Huh? No. She won't know anything then. Uh, she might know about Jeremy. Say, do you know a guy named Jeremy? Huh? No. Oh. Well, he emailed her, but maybe it was after she was dead. It did say no, so probably not. Gavin. Do you know anyone named Gavin? Shh. Shut up and dance. Rude. She's right here. Oops. So, can you tell me where I can find him? Shh. Shut up and dance. Damn it. Have you ever been up to the High Line? The what line? Never mind. Is this the only place you go? For now. I'll move on eventually, but for now, this is where I want to be. She got moves while he just moonwalks. It's true. It's great. Let me see. So. You got it. So, what do you do when you're... Nothing much. Go to Shows. concerts. Maybe take in a show. So you're a watcher, huh? Well, I like watching you. That ouch. First of all, why is it ouch? Second of all, that was a really creepy thing to say. Um, I don't really know what else. So, you got it. So, nothing much. Uh, travel. I bounce around. See everything I can. So smooth. Mm -hmm. Hi, Goose. Okay, like... Do the initials STP mean anything to you? Huh? No. Do you know anyone named Tiffany Walters? Huh? No. no. Okay. I've I think got I've a asked scram, everything. but, uh... Don't you go anywhere. I make no promises. All right. Um, I guess we can leave. But hi, Goose. Uh, yeah, this is a uh, Blackwell Deception. That just happened to be a club that we were in. Stone Temple Pilots. Our notes again. One raise, we found out where it was. 
STP. There must be hundreds of possible results for STP. This isn't going to help me at all. Rude. Alright. Stay close to the door, Red. I'm heading in. After you, Joey. Late 20s? That's not where I'm at. Hello again. What? That's a cute picture there of you. Who's your friend? Stop with the personal questions. Oh, okay. it's my just leave. Have you ever heard of a professor named Elaine Appleton? No, just leave me alone. Might have already asked that. I don't remember. Do you ever go to a nightclub called Munrays? Why would I go to a place like that? About this Gavin fella. I told you I don't. So you. St no, I can't. You can't say? Why are you bothering me? Just leave me alone. Okay, I might be a little stuck. Well, see you. Yeah, see you. Typical spook. Evasive. Cryptic. Won't give me a damn straight answer. So, par for the course then. Don't worry, we'll get her. We always do. I guess I could go talk to Lisa again. And be like, um, both the people you told me about are dead. Man. Please explain. Why is the pipe leaking? I've already asked her about STP. Oops. No. Lock. Yes. Hi, Lisa. Oh, it's you. Have you learned anything? I learned something about Jamie Graham. And? She's dead. Lisa? Did Gavin kill her? Don't come back until you know for sure. I learned something about Tiffany Walters. She's dead too. Lisa, do you know something about this? I don't know anything. Like I said, I just suspect. Don't come back unless you know more. Lisa, both of these girls are dead. I know that. You think I don't know that? But until I know that Gavin was involved with both of them, I don't see why it's any of my business. I'll be back. Fine. Ugh. So she didn't want to talk about Gavin. I'll go back in there. Look at the email again and see maybe. Uh, like this is all I got. Benji at Columbia and your password's Benji. Mmm, so secure. So many stubborn characters. There are less stubborn characters. The same music. She's still dancing. Hey, kid. Care to finish what we started? Hey, you. Tell me about Gavin. You really can't tell me where Gavin is. Shh. Shut up and dance. Mm, I might need a hint, chat. Does anyone in chat have an idea? So. You got a question? So. Nothing much. I talk to pretty girls like you. Ouch. That was awful. Really? I thought it was pretty smooth myself. Look at me. I'm swooning. I like how she doesn't take a shit. So. Tell me. You got a question? Okay. So what do you- Nothing important. Say history. History. Really? What kind of history? Oh, does this have to do with all of her- Okay. Shit. Something about Middle Eastern history always fascinated me. You know, I used to be the same way. Everyone has their own opinion about what goes on there, but it's so ancient. But you can never truly understand anything unless you know where it came from. I know what you mean. Things move so fast nowadays. 
I know, right? Nobody else gets it. And you do? I thought I did. Once. Maybe we can talk more about it sometime? I'd like that. So we just bonded with her about two different things. So? You got it. Now I so, just have spare time. What do you do? With Nothing much. But I've done all of these. I come to places like this. Really? Maybe they're somehow I doubt. So you got it. So nothing much. Go to concerts. So you're a watcher. Well, ouch. That's so, why she said you ouch. Got so nothing much. I bounce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she don't care. Okay, so we got her interested in two things, but it's still not helpful. You really can't tell me where Gavin is. Shh. Shut up and dance. I've got a script. I make. All right. Does anyone in chat have an idea? I guess I can talk to her. You call this music? Ah, forget it. She can't hear me over this racket. I guess we can always chat. Even if I could use I didn't mean to do that. Let's talk. Yeah. Don't know why we're hanging around here. Neither do I. Let's keep going. Thanks. We need to find out more about Tiffany. Her friends, family. She's gotta have somebody. Well, we know a Rachel, and that's fucking it. All right, let's sure. Oops. Oops. Ah. All right. Uh. I don't think that Rachel and Tiffany were in the same photograph together, so obviously they know each other. back and see only thing I could see working is calling the professor again but maybe she's only useful for the one exposition section it's possible yeah the song shut up and dance with DMCA I know so I can't mess with the fact it's leaking locked Okay. She had a boyfriend, didn't Stay she? Close did to you the look door, him Red. up? I'm heading in. She did. After you, Joey. Did she mess it or mention a boyfriend? I don't think I've gotten her to mention one. Hello again. What? what? Yeah, I just That's have a Rachel. Cute picture. That's it's just. She won't talk to me about it. STP. Could as you well. tell me? Stop with the. It's just. Leave. Okay. Well. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's about your final payment. Photo. Like this is all got, I Rachel. I guess no I can good. do This Damn is as it. far as I can move. Okay, you could move much farther before, can I just say? Just between. Hello again. What? Are you familiar with what? Have you what? About this Gavin fella. I told you. I so you. No, I. You can't. Why are you just? Uh. So does the name Jamie Graham ring a bell? No. Do you ever go? Why would I go? Yeah, and she doesn't. Okay. In her emails. Oh, 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 the other girl. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I thought you meant this well, girl. Yeah, well, she didn't mention shit, but never mind. All right. Uh, yeah, let me go. I don't remember what his name is, so let me go see his Rose Angel. Cozy. Sure. I like hanging out in building lobbies. Does wonders for my reputation. Okay. Let's go see her email again. 
Did you have to hold the door open for him? Questions I have. Okay, it is Seb Frederick. Don Graham. Let's do Don Graham. Alright. Did I spell it wrong? I spelled it wrong. So I'm gonna save. Save. All right. Uh, so Frederick, yeah. This sub Frederick. Well, let me. He goes by Seb. Maybe it's Sebast Sebastian? Like, that's the only thing I got. But it doesn't say that. I don't know how to spell Sebastian. That would be mean. What the fuck? I got nothing. Like, I got nothing. But my email, no. My name is Scott Hines. My wife, Madison, told me you were badgering her and my mother with questions yesterday. Our family has been through a tremendous ordeal and don't need you stirring things up. I don't want to get the police involved, but I will, Scott Haynes. F. It's kind of stupid, actually. Okay, how, how do I do it? What do I do? Because I'm confusion. I'm assuming she'll talk more if maybe we bring up a boyfriend, but someone who you spoke to previously at the club will know now actually talk to you, I believe. Rude. Alright. Let's go. Hi, I'm looking for someone named Seb. They're ignoring me. Is it the drunk guy? It's one of these two. Hi, are you Seb? The funny look in his eye says no. Are you Seb? Hmm? I said, are you Seb? Yeah, I heard. Do I know you? No, but we have a mutual friend. Really? Who? Jamie, Jamie Graham. Sorry, don't know. I read the email you wrote to Jamie. That was private. Sorry, I know. It couldn't be helped. <sighs> so, what do you want? I'm trying to learn about her. I'll save you the trouble. She was a drug addict, a dropout, and a tease. Then she spun out of control. Do you want to go somewhere more quiet? It's kind of loud in here. I don't want to talk anyway, so I'll stay right here. You here uh, alone? Yeah, and I like it that way. She was a drug addict. Yeah, big time. She kept trying to get me on this stuff. Called me boring. 
boring. Right. At least I'm not dead. So she dropped out of school. Not yet. But she stopped going to class. She was gonna drop out or get kicked out. One or the other. Why was Jamie a teen? No reason. Forget it. Because you're a fuck that assumed that you should get something? Oops. Why do you come here? It doesn't seem like your kind of place. You want to talk. I'm here on business. Kind of. So why are you here? I don't know. Does it matter? I just am. Do you know a guy named Jeremy Sams? No. Do you ever go to the High Line? No. Did Jamie ever mention the name Gavin? No. Were you dating Jamie Long? Does it matter? I guess not. Does the name Tiffany Walters mean anything? No. Do the letters STP mean anything to you? They won't. No. I'm just Do you know anyone sure. named Rachel? No. Did you know Jamie's professor, Elaine Appleton? She talked about her sometimes, but I don't know. So, you come here a lot? No. Yes. I don't know. Whatever. So, Jamie was a drug addict? Not that it's any of your business, but yeah. Always bragging about getting high on E every night. And she was proud of it. She tried to get me on the stuff. Said I needed to loosen up. Look where it got her. Okay. Well, I have to go. Later. So I wonder if Joey can then talk to her. Hey, kid. Care to finish what we started? Hey, you. So, tell me about yourself. You got a question? Oh, uh, okay. So, I hear you like to party. Why? You got something? No, do you? No, but I could if I wanted to. Anytime. Right. That's it. I've got a script. I made. That almost didn't feel helpful. Hi again. Hmm? She was a drug addict. Yeah, big boring. Right. At least I'm not. Well, uh, I later. already asked him about everything. Talk to Joey outside somewhere. Got a sec? What is it this time? It's been years since I was last here on campus. Can't believe it took something like this you know, to bring me back. I think this game may have been the one I needed the most help with. So, okay. Yeah, ideas? I might need help. Did that professor say anything about where Jamie might have gone? She might have. Then I don't know what you're waiting for. We need to follow any lead we've got. We already went there. So, did that professor say she might have? Then I don't. That's all for now. Yeah. Okay, I need help again. <laughs> help me talk to Sebastian, but it didn't help me much farther. <sighs> Cause then it just talks about Amy and or er, Amy. Wow. Uh, Jamie and drugs. I mean, we could talk to her dad, but I didn't call Durkin. Okay. It didn't give me any information on the dad. Hi, it's me again. Telling the lady Jamie was a drug addict? I, I did. And she was like, you like to party? So. I was just checking in. Any word on Jeremy's murder? Nothing yet. We're working on it. You got anything for us? I wanted to talk to you about Jamie Graham. Who? Jamie, a Columbia student. I was told you were looking into it. I think Jamie and Jeremy might be connected. Could we talk somewhere? Why should I do that? Look, you owe me, and I might be able to help you out again. You could, huh? Oh, like the psychic said, lady. I get around. Maybe. What the hell? I need a cup of coffee anyway. You know a place in Alphabet City called Cup of Clay? I'll find it. Right. See you there. No location. Cool. Cafe. Hi, Detective Durkin? Oh, it's you. So, what can I do for you? 
King Grant. So why are you looking into Jamie's death? Her teacher said it was natural. Well, she was right. It looked that way, sure enough. And? The body was found in a dumpster off of Amsterdam. Natural or not, how did the body get in there? A dumpster? So it was murder? I didn't say that. It was three blocks away from some nightclub. We learned she was a regular, so we went over. She bought it in the upstairs room. Some kind of VIP area. One minute, dancing the night away. The next, lights out. Nobody saw how she died, just that she was dead. Anyway, the bouncer saw it and freaked, so he snuck her out and dumped her. Like I said, cut and dry, case closed. How are you sure she wasn't murdered? We have this thing called a coroner's report. Right. What did it say? I don't know the medical term, but some kind of brain vessel burst? It happens. One thing's for sure. It was no murder. Just rotten luck. What else did the coroner's report say? Nothing too important. Why? I don't know. Could I see it? Was she on drugs? You do owe me. I don't know about that, but you certainly do get around. Look, I can't give you the actual report, but I can give you the gist. You might be nuts, but for some reason, I think you're all right. Thanks. Don't think. Thanks. Me. You owe me now. You got a phone? Yeah. When we finish here, I'll send you a message. Okay. Do you know anyone named Gavin? You're gonna have to be more specific than that. He's kind of a cult leader. I'm not sure what he does yet. Yet? Have you heard of him or not? Nah, sorry. Thrown away like trash. That's horrible. You're surprised? You know what happened up on the High Line. Some people are animals. They choke someone's mother to death for no good reason. Does the name Tiffany Walters mean anything to you? Nah. Do the initials STP mean anything to you? Nah, sorry. Do you know any Rachels? Nah, sorry. You spoke to Professor Appleton. The grandkids prop? Yeah, why? No reason, really. This club where Jamie died, it was Munray's, wasn't it? You get around. Yeah, that was the place. I think Jamie might have been involved with a wild crowd. Maybe, maybe not. Either way, the case is closed as far as the department's concerned. Okay, so I just gotta wait for his message. Oh, How come Munray's is still open after what they did? How do you think any club stays open? They offer favors and spread money around to the right people, and the whole thing never happened. It's all hushed up. Nothing in the papers, even. Right. Well, bye. See ya. See ya. Hi. Hi! You're new here, aren't you? Uh, yeah. My first time. I knew it. I never forget a face. Durkin. Do you know the detective over there? Durkin? He's a regular. Joey's floating outside of the building like a dog tied up. As he should be. It's so tempting, but I've already had more coffee today than I should. Oh. Thanks. I'll see you around. Have a good night. All right. Caramel espresso shots. Yo. I'm so coming here when this is over. All right. Hey, check it out. I got a message from Gay. Yeah. Uh huh. Well, let's go to Jamie's for now. Where's the message? What? What? Huh. I was looking forward to that message. No answer. I guess he turned his phone off. What? I forget. I, f I forget. Do you do the combining mechanic of clues in this game? Yes. Ish. Although I've tried a couple times now and it hasn't. Oh, now the coroner's report. So it's in notes. Uh, subject, Jamie Graham, blood work clean, no sign of harmful or illegal substances, cause of death traumatic, hemorrhaging due to spontaneous bleeding into the brain tissue. 
Oops. Hmm, now this is interesting. Seb said that Jamie was a drug addict, but her blood work came back clean. Something's not right here. Did Seb lie? Alright. So I guess go confront him? Okay. Hi again. Hmm? Seb, you told me that Jamie was on drugs a lot, but Jamie never used drugs. What do you mean? I spoke to a cop. He saw the autopsy report. She was completely clean. It's impossible. She was always talking about ecstasy, trying to get me on it. If she took anything, it wasn't stronger than cough medicine. I don't believe this. I've got the report right here. Sort of. Do you want the cop's number? No, I don't want his number. Why would she lie about something like that? That's crazy. I don't know, Seb. I'll tell you why. She wanted to be interesting. She always thought she was boring. But she wasn't. She was fantastic. She read Robert Ashbless, for God's sake. How many girls read Ashbless? Not many. Not many? She wanted to live, she said. Feel alive. She was kidding herself. Told everyone she was taking drugs, not having the guts to really do it. Stupid, stupid girl. I honestly thought that she and I... God, look at me. What the hell am I doing here? Is this me now? Fallen or ghost around like some lovesick puppy? You're sick, Jamie. You were sick. Well, I got him to leave. Oops. Can we talk about how he did it? I don't think he did it. I'm gonna talk to her again and see. Hey, kid. Care to finish what we started? Hey, you. Hey, you. Oh, I can't now. All right. So, you got it. Uh, okay. I got it. Okay. What was the purpose of that? Mickey left. But to where? Maybe she has a new email. Maybe he upset his spaghetti. Oops. I'm Wait. not talking to him. Th Damn it. Hey, Joey. What is it this time? So, any ideas? Did that professor say anything about where Jamie might have gone? She might have. Then I don't know what you... Him again. All right. That's all. Yeah. Guess talk to Lisa again, maybe? Yes. Hi, Lisa. Uh, Ugh. I'll be back. Fine. Okay, what am I missing this time? Tiffany still won't talk to us. Jamie's the farthest we've gotten. May I give another hint? Go for Hi. it. Hi. Yeah. So, any progress on Jeremy? Look, you helped us out on the ID, but don't push it. You know about as much as I do. Well. See ya. I was hoping to finish this today, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. Seb gave a name to Oogle? What name did he give me? Oh shit, can you tell me? Because I don't remember. Oh, <laughs> do you have... I mean, he... 
ecstasy. I don't know how to spell ecstasy. Is that how you spell it? I don't know. Oh, Ash Bless. Yeah, the writer. Sir Robert Pal Palam Ash Bless. 1882-1957. Ashbless was an English arter, author uh, whose body of work includes novels, short stories, plays, and song lyrics. He is best known today for the Anubis at the Gate novels. Okay. Maybe I have something more to talk to Jamie about? Maybe. Looks like it jams every time. Hey, kid. Care to pay you? Oh, I thought it would come up here. Oh, you bitch. So. You got it. So. Nothing much. Books? This usually isn't my scene. You'd find me at home with a book most nights. Really? I used to read all the time. Not anymore? Nah. So, what do you like to read? Robert Ash Bless. Blackwell. Is a favorite of mine. Really? I used to read him all the time. Which is your favorite? Anubis at the Gate, sure. Anubis at the Gate was always a favorite. Oh yeah, if you want to go with the popular one. You don't like it? Oh, sure, it's great, but that's the first one people always pick. You wrote other stuff, you know. Like what? Oh, dark drawings and drawing the last. If you liked Anubis, you'd like this too. Really? I'd have to look him up sometime. I've got a bunch of storage somewhere. Maybe I could let you borrow one sometime? I'd like that. How... how about right now? Huh? Not sometime. Right now. God, I hate this place. Why do I come here every night? To have fun? I just feel more miserable. Let's get out of here. Sounds good to me, gorgeous. Where to? We can go anywhere. Well, my dorm isn't far. Your dorm? Yes. Uh, I won't be finishing till unless I stream till 6:37. Okay, well, noted. I, uh... So we'll go for a little longer then. Ah. I get the feeling we're going to be good for each other. Oh. Except I've been lying and investigating you. This just got a lot more interesting. Uh, still got it is the achievement I got. No, he's lying. That's at least good to know, Lacia, so that way I don't push myself to keep going then. All right. We'll go a little farther then. Maybe we can at least help her. Oh. There. I want that to be my last memory of this place. Let's go. I'll be back in my dorm. Don't keep me waiting long, okay? Joey, no. Ramen, that girl. I haven't done it yet. Are you sure she's even legal? Legal? She's dead. This is disgusting. I mean, she's in college, so she's definitely legal age. She's it's just yeah. But she's going to university, I believe. Not necessarily Are true you cat? seriously going in what? there to I mean, can you even, you know? I don't know. It's never come up before. That's disgusting. <laughs> She's Look, dead, he says it like not, it makes it I better, do I know. Have a small modicum of class. I'll do what I got. Do you? Do. No more. I was 17 and when I enrolled less. in a you and I. If you oh. say so, Joey, but don't think I won't go in there. I won't want to, but I will. I mean, I don't know. I hope she is. Or else Slap on some wrists and punch Joey through his ghost ass face. Um, Joey. You came. I was 14. Wait, Told what, McCoy? So cold in here. I don't think I've ever been so cold. Aw. Look at me, I'm freezing. Come warm me up. Just saying you can't make the presumption that college and university equals legal. 
Anyone's ID one night stand stands? Always ID one night stands. Well, he, she, her ID's fake. So she could drink and get into the club to be 21. I had to wait until I was 18 before I could enter my college. Yeah. Guess it just depends. Look, this is wrong. I should go. Wrong? What do you mean wrong? You like me, don't you? Of course I do. You're great. It's just, I think I'm here for the wrong reasons. I don't care. You can't leave. When you're around, I feel like myself. Does that make any sense? It's like I remember who I'm supposed to be. Not what Gavin told me to be. Gavin? He's full of crap. I was just a bit lost, and he took advantage. Just what did he do? Look at you, so chivalrous. He, he told me I was dying, that I was wasting my life. Maybe he was right. Nose in a book or a computer, that was me. He said I had to stop studying and start living, have a full life, have fun. But after meeting you, I remember. My life wasn't so bad, was it? Only you can judge that. I had my family, I had a few friends, I liked my classes, I even had a sort of boyfriend. Things were good. Why didn't I see that? I didn't have to be so miserable. Stupid, huh? You're far from home. It messes with your head. People get confused, it happens. Sure, that's obvious now, isn't it? It's like I couldn't think straight. Even right up until the end, I... Up until the end. The end of what? Please, darling. The end of what? It's so cold in here. I am so sorry. Sorry. I'm dead and you're sorry. Is this really happening? It's already happened. I died. In the club. I died. I remember it perfectly. It was like being ripped apart. I know. It happened to me once, too. But it's over now? Yes, dear. It's over. So what now? Red, I know you're listening. That's your cue. I doubt Gavin did it, but did he try to get some sort of revenge? I don't know. Jamie. Yeah. It's just so much to take in. I know. I'm glad so I got the option now? to not do just stuff with her. Put into the light and I'm gone. I don't know what happens after, but yes. Just head toward the light. So this is it. I'm really dead. Gavin told me to live life to the fullest. Ironic, huh? I don't know. I'm sorry. If I had only taken a minute to think about what I was doing... But it's too late for that, isn't it? Yes. Gavin is going to do this to someone else. I know it. I feel it. He's already done it. Countless times. Do you know where we can find him? We'd meet on campus. I don't know where he lives. Funny. Didn't seem suspicious at the time. It's fading. Everything is just... fading. We'll get to him. We'll stop him. It's what we do. Promise? It's time to go, Jamie. I know. I like oh, how Joey, we didn't promise. Bye. Sure. And if he needs a cold shower or anything, um, tell him I'm sorry. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got her off okay? Yeah, she's gone. That didn't Good. sound right. Something wrong? Phrasing. No. I just want to meet this Gavin guy so I can sock him in the jaw. Joey? Who has this kind of power anyway? He brainwashed that poor kid. Don't get me wrong, I've seen some pretty out there stuff, but this, well, it just rubs me the wrong way. I think we should talk to Lisa again. Her? She keeps more clam than a seafood buffet, but sure, why not? All right, let's go talk to her, I guess, real quick. Uh, sounds like a cult taking advantage of naive people. Yeah, like that's pretty much. It's a cult that's doing that. Amazing last words. Oh, wait. She said Lisa, didn't she? Yes. Hi. Lisa? Oh, it's you. 
I've learned something about Gavin and Jamie. Can I come in? I'll tell you all about it. I'm mostly focused on Jamie. I don't have any progress on Tiffany. And she spent all her time at that club until she died there. Her body was found in a dumpster a few streets away. Poor girl. Jamie was such a quiet, shy thing when she came in here. She put herself under so much pressure. She spent her whole life doing what was expected of her, but she couldn't decide what was right for her. The girl was paralyzed. Yeah, Coming to save Tiffany with all its possibility, and, and game for it next made time. her question okay. the point of everything. And you gave her answers? She was so determined to fail. I couldn't help her. So you sent her to Gavin. Gavin and I have an arrangement. Which is? If I have a client who's determined to be unhappy no matter what, I send them to Gavin. And then they die? I don't know that. And neither do you. Just because this one died doesn't mean they all do. I gave you three for three. Look into the other one and don't come back until you do. I'll be back. Okay. I think Joey actually cared, yeah. I think he did. I'll save uh, at her place. Tiffany's. And we'll see, but I really don't have anything for Tiffany. But, yeah, that's safe. Uh, we'll, we'll overwrite that. Yeah. Hey. But yeah, I'm assuming she's like a whole nother case in itself that I gotta figure out stuff for. So it would probably be like about an hour or more. <sighs> but holy crap. At least we're able to make progress on Jamie. And the, the psychic. But, yeah, I can see why you had trouble with this, too. It, it's gotten a little obtuse for me, but. Is she a cult recruiter? On accident. Kind of. She knew what she was doing, but she didn't know it's a cult, and she didn't know that he was murdering people. So. But, yeah, thank you, Lacious, for being a lovely Patreon supporter. And for helping me. <laughs> thank you. And for the games. Again, I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. So curious as to how this is, like, who the fuck is Gavin? I'm excited to see when we actually can talk to him. And I felt like I had to ask before you even asked for a hint, before you forgot the name Robert Ashbless. Yeah, since you can't talk to Seb again. Yeah, I'm a little uh, sad that you can't talk to him again to kind of get that info. Or, like, if it was, if it was in my notes... But it wasn't. Or if it was, you had to scroll down or something. But I don't think it was. So yeah, no, I didn't remember that at all. So thank you for that. Holy crap. I keep yawning. Oh god, I was gonna try and walk. And have some exercise. We'll see. It wasn't? It wasn't on my list? Yeah. So like, that would suck if you didn't remember that. How are you gonna talk to her about Ash Bless? In this game, just gotta oogle every single name you see. Yeah. Holy crap. Thank you for reminding me and uh, typing it so I could type it myself. Walk like this. This game is really quirky voice acting and has that old school charm. It's pretty fun so far. I do like, yeah, the Blackwell series is pretty great. And they did even better in terms of like puzzle solving. Like Unavowed is fantastic in terms of just like figuring stuff out without, I didn't need much help. I think there was like maybe one or maybe two instances where I needed it. So they definitely keep improving as they make games, which is really nice. But yeah, like this whole series is uh, fun to go through. Thank you again, Lacious. So I will quit out of here for this. Yes. And we'll, oops, not settings. No, I don't want that. I want to switch over for, how dare you? Hey. So, we're gonna go raid someone. Gavin Reed, the dude from Detroit. That Gavin? No. Probably definitely a different Gavin, but. Let's go and give someone some love. All right, let's see who's streaming. But the next stream will be tomorrow at noon Central Standard Time. All this week is at noon Central Standard Time. Tomorrow's gonna be Little Nightmares. Uh, maybe we'll finish it if we do. Uh, then Saturday is going to be Final Fantasy 14 with my lovelies. But if I don't finish Little Nightmares tomorrow, then I'll just finish it on Saturday. Uh, Thursday will be more Patreon picks with Kita. Or, I lied with Kita. 
uh, with uh, Hades is Tara's Patreon pick and Hollow Knight, which is uh, Plastic's Patreon pick. So there's that. Uh, and then on Friday is with Kida. Friday is with Kida, where we are going to be playing some Fall Guys on my channel. And then on the evening on her channel, we'll be playing more Final Fantasy. I lied. I can't think. Fire Emblem Three Houses. Crimson Flower Run. Because I have not fully done that yet. So... Uh, I'm still fully experiencing it and all it has for us. But let's give some love to Kuri. If you guys uh, are not following and watching Kuri already, you totally should. She's fantastical. She is currently doing the powers back on for now. Well, let, let's let's raid her while her power's still on. Uh, but she's current currently doing the Festivale event in Animal Crossing. So she looks so cute. So let's give Kuri all the love. Uh, she plays a lot of Animal Crossing, so please give her all the love. Oops. And I will see you guys tomorrow for Little Nightmares for some of those spoops. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for the Patreon pickers, for being fantastical, and for the lovely games today. And I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful night, you guys, and take care. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. <laughs>